Fass. Oh, what's the crack? Welcome to my dining table. So the other day I was in Frankfurt, Germany. Um, why you ask? Well, to play video games, obviously. And the game that we played specifically was Kingdom Under Fire 2. Kingdom Under Fire 2. Yeah, that game. So I want to firstly thank Gameforge for inviting me. It was really awesome of them. So cheers to that. So basically me and many other creators, no, 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 sorry, influencers and some press were flown over to Germany to attend the Kingdom Under Fire 2 launch event. And our duty was, well, to put it in simple terms, play the game. And to pretty much kind of document our experience with it and review the game. But I decided to pretty much document the whole experience and this whole event, hence this video. The overall experience was, was pretty incredible. Minus the fact there was no drivers there at the airport to bring us to our hotels when we arrived. <clears throat> but when we eventually arrived at our hotel, we had a few drinks, we socialized, we introduced ourselves to other creators, influencers, and then we just kind of went to bed. And then the next morning... Kingdom Under Fire 2. No, not yet. The next morning, we had breakfast, we socialized a little bit more, introduced ourselves to some of the press, some of the other creators and stuff, and genuinely it was a good morning. And then a busload of us, now I mean, there was a bunch of us going to this event. We're all transferred to Castle Reichenstein. I think I've pronounced that wrong. Now this is where shit gets pretty damn epic. Kingdom under fire. No, god damn it, not yet. So when we arrived at Castle Reichenstein, we were welcomed by some loud dude dressed as a jester. We're at the Castle of Reichenstein. I will ask this noble lord in the first row, where do you come from? And then, the gates opened and as we walked up through the gates we were introduced to knights and swordsmen shouting out random shit at us and there was smoke coming out of the castle walls it was really cool man they went through a lot of effort and honestly i absolutely loved it the castle was so fucking cool it was done up in like cuff to decor cuff to Kingdom Under Fire 2, you get it. And, you know, there was fires lit, and it was honestly so cool, the amount of effort that they went through. The whole experience for me was so surreal, as I've never really attended anything like this before. You know, there was, there was great music, there was finger food, and there even was epic sore battles. <laughs> So after that epicness, we were all put into a big room where essentially the Kingdom Under Fire 2 presentation began. We got an exclusive look into the game's mechanics, some really cool cinematics and trailers, and some sneak peeks into some future content that will come will be coming to the game. So I can't really say much more about that. What we were shown was pretty exciting stuff and at this point I just really wanted to play the game. Like I wanted to get my hands on that game, especially after the presentation. I felt like I needed to play it from seeing so much cool stuff. But before that, we had quests to do. Okay. All right, so we got some quests here, dudes. We got archery, snake fling, nut hitting, crossbow shooting, cherry stone spitting, rat throwing, slingshotting, and we have to get at least 12 or else mission failed. We were literally given a list of quests to complete, like IRL quests in real life. So we were exploring the castle, we had to shoot crossbows, and we even had to interact with a bald eagle. Only for professional. Yeah, 
Really cool stuff. So then after all that was done, after quests were completed and all that good stuff, it was finally time to play. You can do it now. Okay, fine. Kingdom Under Fire 2. For the love of God. So I basically live stream for two hours at their streaming booth and you can actually watch the whole live stream up here. Um, and I had a lot of fun with it. So what I had to do was essentially live stream the game onto my YouTube channel, which I did and I know some of you were there. And honestly, I had so much fun playing this game from the incredibly detailed character creation to the absolutely stunning in-game visuals. All in all, the game was just an overall good time. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to MMORPGs, but I'm just telling you how it is. I enjoyed the game, I had fun with it, and honestly, I just wanted to keep playing. And they have this really interesting feature in it, and it's a very, very ambitious feature as well, where you can switch from third person kind of hack and slash mode or MMO mode straight to an RTS mode for those epic, huge war battles. And the way they done it was really good and I enjoyed how it worked. And admittedly, the game did have some problems. I mean, there was some sound issues here and there where there was no sounds in certain epic moments. Watch out, troops! Oh no, my archers. Um, there was some moments in the game where there were still things that were still in Korean. But to be fair, this was an early build. This wasn't a complete final product. So I can't really fault too much on that. And then after that, when we all had our turn playing the game, it was time for some food. And what they laid out was essentially a huge medieval banquet. And this was so cool. They had people singing, they had people dancing, they had people playing instruments. They had so much great food, we had great drink, and it was just a meaning of just relaxing, socializing, introducing ourselves to other content creators, and just having a ball. Like, honestly, this was so fun. I had so much fun here. And after we had our food, we had more drinks to end the night, and we were also treated to this awesome pyro show with a guy spitting fire and eating fire and all that stuff. <laughs> and it was just a nice way to end the night. So after that was all said and done, the next morning we all were transferred to the airport and went our separate ways. My overall experience with this whole launch event and playing the game, etc. was pretty incredible. Like I said, I've never been a part of anything like this before. And honestly, I'm so honored, so humbled and so grateful for GameForge for inviting me. So thanks again, GameForge. It means a lot. You know, from speaking to a lot of you guys in GameForge, um, the whole time I was there, you seemed like really chill and down to earth people. And I love that. You know, sometimes when it comes to corporations, they tend to look down on the smaller people. But honestly, interacting with them and having a good time with them, they, these people work hard and they're genuine people. So, you know, I can't fault GameForge for their hospitality and their organization. Everything just went so swimmingly. So yeah, that was my, my trip to Frankfurt, Germany. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little story about it, my whole experience about it. Um, I think you should definitely go check out Kingdom Under Fire 2. It's such a good game. It is out quite soon and I most likely will be streaming it on my Twitch channel. So definitely go follow me over there if you want to see more um, exclusive gameplay from me over there. And just do something fun. Like play Kingdom Under Fire 2. Really? Anyway. Ugh, I need to make a fresh one. I'll see you guys later.